the reset button plays finally together for one of these. Tan and welcome. Hello. In house, your game of the week. You know what? Your game. <laughs> You're going first. Oh shit. Um, okay. The Disney Dream Desk controller, because this is an emulator, guys. And you know, if you want to judge us, fuck you. Because I'm not buying this game. All right. Let's get down to Dennis the Menace for SNES. I'm also wondering who in their right mind would. You know what? Actually, it's, it's probably like a $5 game in the second in Charles or something. I don't doubt. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even pay three. Mr. Wilson's. <laughs> There's more than one? There's more than one Mr. Wilson? Is that the plot of this game? Yeah. <laughs> Find all the Wilsons. So there, I, my favorite scene from the movie is the scene where there was a purple cat. Yeah, One and, and a bunch of aquariums at Mr. Wilson's house, too. Um, I do like his design. It looks like it's taken after more of the comic book. Yeah. It's one of those things, too, where, like, you know, the developers of this game, they saw the movie. So in one scene, maybe, you know, in, in a room, Mr. Wilson had a oh, bunch shit. of fish bowls or something. So you know what? They're like, well, make it in every fucking room. Well, I, I want to point out here, though, too, what this is remind you of all of a sudden, very, very quickly. Ah. Uh... A lot of mundane, shitty platformers. Hey, you know what this reminds me of? Fucking Home Alone. Already. This is already giving I, me that Home Alone vibe. I think the appearance of Dennis has a lot to do with that. Because basically that's... Well, I'm, I'm jumping around a house. There's a lot of random shit going on. What the fuck? Fuck you. How does it feel? Does it feel stiff? Responsive? Um, It's pretty... Ah, shit. Responsive in a way. Fuck you, cat. Obviously, this squirt gun's not doing anything, but... Well, that at least hit the mouse. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, alright. You know what, I'm just gonna hide here for a second. Am I timed? Fuck yeah, I'm timed. Jesus Christ. Of course. Records. Oh, god damn, dude! Yeah, this is, this is, uh... There's a lot of mayhem going on. You remember that, uh, part in Terminator 2 when he walks into the one house and... Did, 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 and it's like random shit, like... Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. You guys don't realize this, watching this on the channel, when you watch these on playback... Every every game that's recorded here, like as right now, and like when I do Hibiki plays, we play these games on mute. That you wouldn't think it's that big of a deal, but it actually makes these games harder because it takes that sense away too. Yeah, yeah, um, well, definitely. But the intenseness of the music. You guys, ah, oh, fuck. Miss, like, what, what does Mrs. Wilson do? She doesn't do dicks. She just sits around, complains. Well, obviously, she's got a dudgeon with bats in it and shit going on. And what's with this football thing? And obviously, she's allergic to picking up the phone and calling an exterminator, because this is ridiculous. Okay, can I adjust the camera? That's kind of nice. Fuck you, mouse. Fuck you, mouse. Fuck you, mouse. You're never going to die. Damn, you dude. You can't jump on so, top of them? Nope. Wow. That killed me. What, there you go. What fucking good? Or what kind of menace are you with your little strut? I almost am blaming Dennis for all this happening to Mr. Wilson's house. He probably got, like, a Book of the Dead thing going on. That is cool on. move the camera. Yeah, right. yeah, that, that is that is actually a really cool feature. So many games could have probably benefited from that back in this day, and it probably would have made the games actually decent. A Bubsy comes to mind, if you just would add this kind of shit. Oh, God, yeah. What a simple fix that is. Oh, God. There's bowling ball. And Mr. Wilson's all... It's Mr. Wilson's. Yeah. Was there, an, was there an apostrophe between the S and the N? There wasn't. It just said Wilson's, I believe. They're quite, well, you know, I guess there... Well, no, there wouldn't be one more than one Mr. Wilson. Oh, shit. Where'd you get that? I just started hitting A. Well, oh, fuck. Because that squirt gun's useless. you useless, Beatrice. I can't even... I don't even have a squirt gun right now. I literally just have... Oh. Okay, so X switches your weapons. Okay. But there's no indicator. Okay, yeah. Up there. Up yeah. top. Yep. Yeah. So slingshot if you want to fucking kill st stuff. You know what? Just looking at him makes me crave, though. A fucking, like, blizzard from Dairy Queen. It makes me crave. Who? Dennis? Dennis, yeah, you know, because it's all the comic book characters. At least I used to be their mascot. It makes me crave a fucking comb because of his cowlick. My PTSD and my OCD and all that stuff is kicking in. Just seeing it. You know what's funny? Did they make a uh, a British uh, or a game off the British version of Dennis the Menace? I did you know there was a British Dennis the Menace? I did, but I doubt there's a game. Do we ever get a Heathcliff game for anything? Uh, I believe Game Boy Advance had a Heathcliff game. I want to say that existed way after its time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Game Boy Advance did that a lot with IPs that were way out of its time. Yeah, like, like, oh, you know what? That license is cheap. 
We're going to develop that game. We're going to clone something else, too. Just, just layer it. Yeah. Have Heathcliff and, and uh, some weird Ren and Stimpy game. Add some color to it. So I was just playing, for, this is so weird, I was just playing Ghostbusters on Sega the other day, which is an actual, the only good retro Ghostbusters game for home consoles. And the hardest thing in that game to kill were the goddamn teacups. And yet, Deja yeah. Vu. Get that fucking slingshot out. Uh, How many rocks does it take to break a cup? Well, I mean, it's a possessed cup. Obviously, obviously, like I said, here's how Dennis menaced this house. He got a hold of a book of the dead. The cats are uh, are possessed. The cats come way too fast for you to react. That cactus doesn't hurt you. That's why I didn't jump up there. Oh, no, look, that, he's that, dancing. That he's cactus. a friendly guy. Probably one of those sound activated things from the 90s. Remember, they used to wear like sunglasses and sing to them and they dance a little bit. I think my mom still has one of them. Oh, the things we thought that were funny in the 90s. You know what? Let's do it. Let's The Elephant in the Room. This movie. I know you've seen it since, because you're like me. You're ridiculous. Has this movie aged well? Um, well, you, you, you do have uh, um, mine from uh, Grumpy Old Man. Walter Matthau. Yeah, we got some Matthau going there. Um, and Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Uh, Reuniting with Leah Thompson for this movie. Yeah, that is true, because Leah Thompson was the mom, wasn't she? Who once again plays the mom. Um, and she's still hot, too. Like, yeah, I don't know, I've always had a thing for Leah Thompson. Adventures, no, that's Elizabeth Shue. Yeah, yeah, that is Elizabeth Shue. You no, know maybe I was That's a good say. one, too, though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Pictures of Big too. Yeah. That movie gets dark. Start pulling out switchblades and shit. Oh, yeah, kids. man. Oh, man. They're all like crawling around. At one point, like she hits that rusty thing and falls down to that guy's like drink. And yeah. Drinks it. Yeah. But yeah, Leah Thompson's super hot. I agree. Howard the Duck. Mm. Now, that was one of my favorite movies as a kid. It was because of Leah Thompson. I totally uh, forgot what we were talking about there. Um, uh, the movie, Dennis the Menace, that mm. this is based off of. You think of. it's age well, yeah. Um, I, I'd say that other kids could watch it, I believe. Um, but I think the reason that we loved it so much as kids was especially like, remember Nick at Night and stuff, they played reruns out the ass. Yeah. So, you know, like we were, we were all about a Dennis the Menace movie. I actually saw this movie and, um, a lot of people aren't going to know it, but we used to have a cheap theater back in the day. Uh, it was, it was like 50 cents to see a fucking movie. And it was a movie that would, you know, be out for a couple of months, or even sometimes a couple of weeks. And if it was shitty, they, they'd throw it in this. 50 cent theater just to get something out of it and um I, yeah that's where i saw this one was the cheap theater saw this with my dad <laughs> your dad the uh the diehard golden girls fan man. oh yeah diehard golden girls Shh. fan not yet not until after this scene <laughs> um i think the movie is aged fine because i was you know the kids gimmick and stuff and they at the time the kids love for kids in this generation kids still think it's funny I think what the, the movie had a lot of Looney Tunes slapstick oh, yeah, comedy. Oh, yeah, it was silly. Obviously, you know, with technology and just effects back in well, the black and white show didn't have that luxury. They relied more on heart and clever humor. And especially, though, you got to, like, towards the end of the movie where, like, he's battling, <clears throat> you know, Christopher Lloyd, who's, like, the hobo robber guy. Yeah. And it got... It's attempted murder. Well, it got really home alone all of a sudden, too. Yes. And, well, and, 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 you know, they definitely took a page out of that book. They're like, you know what? We're going to give this some Macaulay Cock and shit. Yeah. And, yeah, we loved it, though. We love Well, we, we loved seeing Power Tools flung at a uh, person. <laughs> like good old, good old fashioned paint can right in the face. <laughs> oh man, yeah. You know what? I've always wanted to see somebody slip and fall on all my micro machines. <laughs> so this game, in the midst of all of our, our reminiscing on '90s movies and stuff, is turned into one of those "Where the fuck do I go?" games. If you noticed, like, well, you did go all the way to the end, and you refilled your life, so that was sort of worth it. But how do you These get up there? fucking things. How do you get up there to get the lawn dart? Like, how do you get Is up that there? a lawn dart or uh, a flashlight? Or a looks like a lawn dart. Dildo with a star taped onto it. That too. Man, Mrs. Wilson's got some shit down in her basement. Her goddamn cats! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> and why is the cat not chasing after the mouse? Why do pillows kill you? <clears throat> Are they pillows? I thought that it was that a football. Why is the football painted like a baseball? <laughs> Fucking Wilsons, man. 
turns out that Mr. and Mrs. Wilson were uh, the original Woodstock. Oh, can you hold that down and actually get a more powerful shot? Oh, nice. And it is unlimited ammo. Oh. Because I was testing that. Cool. All right, shit. That's whatever. What no reason on. a 12-year-old bush like that kind of a uh, wrist action. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure Dennis is supposed to be about like eight or nine years old, bro. Okay. I mean, look, he's still wearing overalls, for fuck's sake. So, it was the 90s. Gosh, gosh, but gosh, kid. Cool, Why kid. can't you grab that? Because he's only eight years old, he doesn't know how to spend money, bro. Oh, I'm eight years old, I can't get up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only eight. <laughs> I don't know if I'm from Australia or Great Britain. Um, but there was a door there, though. Could you go through it? I, I have to go. Oh, god damn cats! I have to work my way up to it. With the friendly cactus man. Make this jump! Leap of faith. Okay, yeah, this is where, like, yeah, you know, the, the platforming. Yeah, you There's can... no, you know, it doesn't tell you what you can and can't jump on. A good old classic staple for bad games. A good old classic staple Ooh. for, for uh, wow, nice. I just gotta keep making these jumps. What is this fucking Crash the Boy Street Challenge? You could dash. Oh. Can you dash? Yeah, hold down, um, uh, the, the, the um, what, square. Why? Square. <laughs> square, yeah. Well, that would have been good to know. How long did you know I could dash? Uh, since the beginning of the game, since the first button I pushed. Oh. <laughs> oh I still missed. We got, it. we got it by the ass this time. We got this. Get up there, Daniel. Denny. 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 Oh, fuck you. Oh, look at Walter Matthau. Walter Matthau. Look, Jesus he Christ. Is, I was distracted by his big fucking head, my <laughs> fell. That's that's great. How much they took his likeness. I know. My like, God, that was that was awesome. And he's like a giant. He's like Andre the Giant in this world. I guess from a kid's point of view is where you're seeing this. But then again, the refrigerators would probably be about the same for an adult. I don't know. I'm looking way too much into this. Was Walter Matthau, or was it was it like just the Saturday Night Live thing, or was he? Did he really try out for playing Obi Wan Kenobi? I don't know, but I wish he did. So that'd be amazing. <laughs> I can't do a Walter Math hour. I would have done one. Damn it! These tracks are side by side. <laughs> Sean Connery. I do yeah. all this for nothing. Yeah, you did do all that for nothing. Well, let me in the goddamn door. Hmm. Let me in this door. I'm great. Do we miss something in here? More basketball. Can you get into those cabinets? This isn't one of those bullshit games you have to... Okay. Now remember this. is pissing me off sometimes. It's like the cutest fucking little mice too. Yet somehow they take your life. Yeah, oh yeah, you know, you can stun them and then fucking gun them. <clears throat> Shoot that cat right in the <laughs> with, with blueberries. Oh my god, they're coming from above, yeah, they're coming from below. The trajectory, man, is fucking crazy. God damn, dude. By the way, it's been me playing the second round. For anyone keeping score. Oh yeah, we didn't I didn't last very long. Fucking basketballs. <laughs> Basically football. It's the sequel. Oh, oh! <laughs> they should have made a basketball game for like PS One. God, that would have been awesome. Like an actual sports game. Yeah. With humor. You I mean you made NFL Blitz? It could still be made. I, you know what? I think if you like really hit up, you know what? We'll Let's develop, get a Kickstarter going. We'll develop the whole thing. We just need you to voice Cooper and Reamer. Bring back Kenny. They would I, do it. Like, why wouldn't they do yeah. it? It's like they're ashamed of that movie. You know, or an or orgasmo game. That would be sweet. Oh, God, Orgasmo would be fucking awesome. Good luck passing the rating system if that game. I, I'd go for an AO rating on that one. Just yeah. make a PC. This is Tannen, guys. <laughs> Giving this a go. Don't you love how those block your shots for no reason? Just platforms or shells? That's what she said. <laughs> what kind of woman puts fish tanks above flowers? I see why Mr. Wilson's grumpy all the time. He's got this dumb bitch <laughs> fucking up his interior oh, wow. design. So I could get on top of the um, 
thing there though. Oh shit, and there's a beam there. Okay. Alright, good to know. The fuck are we supposed to do here, man? We've explored this fucking son of a bitch so much. We've almost reached our limit on our time for these videos. We may have to go longer than the 20 minutes. We at least want to see stage two. It's these beams. You see that beam there? You'll go, fuck you, you fucking mouse. Fuck you, you bowling ball. So, I can get on top of these, though. Walter Matthau's just walking around. He's got fucking crazy possessed items. Everything's all fucked up. I'm getting that coin. I'll tell you that much. I don't even know what the coin does. I'm trying to do a... Oh, that's an extra life. They're trying to do a Mario trick there and charge a jump. Ah, fucking bastard. Who has a fucking Victrola that acts like that? Obviously, Mrs. Wilson does. She's starting at taking it to different places. She's got two ovens. Endless Smothers Brothers and Neil Diamond Vinyls. Can we climb this shit? No, it's a lattice. Lattice decoration. Wow. So, I'm going to tell you right now, like, kid me back in the day, even me not knowing better, like, hey, let's go to Books and Things and run a game. It's the weekend. I still probably wouldn't have liked this game. I, it, it'd be one of those games It would have like, pissed me off at this point. It, well, I can picture that. I get them on a Friday night. Got to take them back by Sunday. So you got the weekend with the game. It, it's, it would have been one of those cases with me because I did it so many times where I'm going to do my best, you know, to make the most out of this game, even if it kind of sucks. Because this is what I picked for my weekend. So you got to suck it up. Just do it. Yeah, it sounds like me with Beethoven second. All the candy's gone that was up there. So that's good to know. As you eat up your resources, it's still, they disappear then. So then once you really start sucking, yeah. the game's like, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself in the ass. It's realistic. If you oh, set a piece of Starburst there and I came by and ate it. You're going to replace that Starburst? Well, how am I not running out of rocks? This motherfucker, ah, oh, you son of a Yeah, I love bitch. how the kid carries unlimited rocks, too. Or bullets. He could have raided Mr. Wilson's gun drawer. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, it was the 90s. Yeah. This is pre-Columbine. <laughs> it's the Columbine prequel. Which one was it? Oh, oh you can't grab onto that! Okay. All right, no! no but no, what's no. the point of it? Oh, uh, to get up there and get the candy. To show off that mode seven. <laughs> what? Oh, you son of a bitch. Time out. Go again if you want. That's not fair. That that's that's just. Where's the start button on that? At least they give you credits, I guess. <laughs> there's no apostrophe. Yeah, it's the, there's more than one Mr. Wilson living here, obviously. You're right. <laughs> Man, so there's clones or there's creepy Walter Matthau characters walking around in and this wouldn't, house. And wouldn't the sign say Wilson's? Not just, just like, She lives there too, right? Yeah, yeah I think what so. What a sexist asshole. She's a woman from a different time. She has no rights. <laughs> now hold on there before you make that nameplate. I just want my name on it. <laughs> Not hers. She wouldn't Can't know how to appreciate it. So, like, ah, man, I always want to get it online because I don't remember the objective of this. Hey, I was just going around killing enemies and shit. It definitely seems like one of those games that even if you had a Game Genie hooked up to it, you'd still get pissed off. Yeah. Game Genie isn't going to fix all the fish tanks. I didn't even know those fish could hurt you. They spit water. Oh, yeah. They take hearts away. Who owns fish like that? Who owns fish that spit on you? Well, I guess the Wilsons. And it's probably to keep Dennis out of their fucking house. This was actually probably their ploy to keep Dennis out of the fucking house. And he's just like, no, I'm goddamn determined to bug the shit out of you. We've run out of ideas. We're going to buy the whole pet store. <laughs> just wait. Can I get that exploding Victrola too? <laughs> it's either that or this kid is literally like, it's like some Damien Omen type shit. Where like even animals and records and everything can sense that this kid is just pure evil. And everything loses their shit when he's around. That's why everything's going haywire. Satanic power. The coffee cups. That's supernatural shit. I mean, the cats, definitely. That is some but supernatural shit. Dennis's anxiety is causing the coffee cups to do that. And, and the burner to do that. Exactly. Some carry stuff. It's just got deep. Stephen King, we just wrote your next book. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. <laughs> So, I can't jump, 
from below this on the next platform, by the way. I have to go up here, go up there. Oh, shit. No, that won't even let me do that. But earlier I could do that. You fucking bastard. You have to take a hit to get up there? Seems like it. Oof. Okay. But now I can't get over there because of the stupid beam. Plus, Mrs. Wilson, she's a barbarian. She captures all these cute cactar. Just keeps them inside. They no, look they look miserable. We already established. Like, they're, they're... Oh, you mean the dead flowers? No, the, the cactuses. I mean, she definitely looks like she goes to either, like... It's a magic beanstalk trying to happen thing. And she's just keeping it from, you know, come to life. Well, George was the flower guru in the movie. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Ian in the show. Hmm. Yeah, remember the time of the one episode where fucking him and what was the bitch's name? The chick he hung out with all the time? Margaret. Yeah. Yeah. Him and Margaret like fucking killed all his flowers. It was right when like, you know, like the townspeople were coming in to like judge his fucking flower guard and they're like, God damn, you know, Jesus George, like this looks I think his name was George, right? Mm -hmm. They fucking like, you know, this looks terrible. You know, and when he running a meth house out of this fucking house, and they really down him, and he gets all, all upset. But man, when that flower wilts, and that crowd's there to watch that shit. Oh, Jesus, in the movie? Oh, yeah. That's like one of those moments where your parents are like, I'm not even mad at you, I'm just disappointed in you. <laughs> it hurts so much more than them screaming at you. Mr. Wilson was just disappointed at Dennis. Yeah. Walter Matthau. Couldn't even bring himself to yell. I mean, yeah, we're coming off of a grumpy old man, Walter Matthau, and we had all seen that movie. And now we're seeing him as a Mr. Wilson, a very forgiving Mr. Wilson. It's like he sanitized his performance. He started it like like, like, a, like a bad Santa type, like in Bad News Bears, like this filthy fuck. All right, right? I got the Festivus pole thing, <laughs> right. the dildo thing. Use it. Oh, sp uh, spitball Oh, shooting. shit. What is, is that shit he's shooting out of? It's not Cookie Crisp. He's shooting out shit. And piss. Shit and piss. It's the best way to describe this game so far, actually. Well, I heard this was actually based off of a separate manga. <laughs> Ooh. So this gives you the front forward projectile. Let's see if it kills this. The water is around. a really weird arc. Where it's like a one pixel rise wow. arc. I can't take out this bat because there is no art. Fuck you. Fucking prick. There you go. Well, we worked up enough extra lives. We can keep this going for days. He walks like D.Lo Brown. It's so funny. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm going to get a drink. All right. This game tends to make most people drive to drink, probably. Imagine how much the developers had to drink just to get through programming this game. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have the pea shooter. Nice. It seems like the pea shooter is stronger than the slingshot. Oh, wait, this. Uh, I take that back. Playthrough is brought to you by Ninety Nine Root Beer. According to Travis, I'm the only person that buys it. And coffee. The stream is brought to you by coffee too. And Diet Coke. And other things. Same great taste, less calories. Same great taste, my ass. This does not taste like real junk. At least it's not Coke Zero. Hey, you want your Coke? Hey, my mom. Hey, my mom drinks that. <laughs> Moms. Yeah, I don't, I don't What's the drink. flattest soda you guys? Have? I, 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 Can I, I buy? I was like, Mom, you're not diabetic. Why the fuck are you drinking <laughs> Coke Zero? Maybe she wants to. She takes care of her teeth. I like the taste of it. <laughs> Who really likes to taste of Coke Zero? <laughs> Not even diabetics, they just drink as they're with us. That's their option. <laughs> Not even the Coke company likes to taste of Coke Zero. <laughs> I wish you could like hang on those blinds. I wish, yeah, I wish there was more shit you could do. This is, I'm gonna say it, I like the Flintstones game more than this. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. This is, oh, Flintstones game is way better than this. The Flintstones Game Boy game is probably fucking better than this. Flintstones Game Boy game was actually pretty good. We're back in the basement. I have no idea what the fuck we're... Sp I'm gonna look it up. Well, uh, is it worth all that effort? Because we still got an episode to record. This is just the appetizer. Yeah, but I want to get upstairs and see the Walter Matthaus running. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they made his wife a character. And all the adults. Oh, I'm sure she's in it. God, I imagine what Christopher Lloyd looks like. 
I was frozen today. Intergalactic Bounty Hunter is a little bit out of my league. But there's a whole walkthrough. Okay. Of course there is. We walk through fucking everything. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Suburban Commando beat em up game would be great. Damn, I don't you know what that should have been made. It should have. And it, the, it, if it, Captain yeah. Commando can exist, that game kind of sucks. Can you sucks. imagine, though, like the SNES version? Like, there's even the, I was frozen today! Like, it'll yeah, be on there. Like a little NES cutscene of that with mm -hmm. text. Mm -hmm. Pixelated faces. Why don't you take a seat? <laughs> Get out of my office! I said take a seat. Oh, funny. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> what a classic. What an American classic. You know what we're going to do? You're going to beat my face in. Dude, it's the 90s. We're, we're going to sue you. <laughs> Of course, now I'm quoting more of the trailer than the actual movie. Look, dead end again, man. I don't fucking know. Is, is there a certain amount of items you, you gotta collect? You take on Lita Dennis. Okay, okay. It's got something to do with the coins, man. Okay. Your objective is to collect all five golden large coins. Well, we try and it won't let you touch them. You will find the last golden coin as well as four golden coins circling the large... After completing a level, you gain points. <laughs> don't rely on shit. Um, it doesn't say don't rely on shit. No, but that's just what I read it. <laughs> wow, this game's fucking lame. Okay, so yeah. Thanks for picking this, Stan. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> It reminds you that I gave a shadow dancer. You gave me this. <laughs> okay, look. There's the coin. What do you do with it? Hold on. Let me look here. I, I can hit it with my spitball, but nothing happens. It actually takes damage from your spitball. <laughs> There's something about the coins floating around. But you, you gotta do it in leave. order or something. You're trying to just collect all five large gold coins at each level. So I'm collecting as many gold, small gold coins as you possibly can. At the end of each level, you will find the last golden coin. That's the last golden coin, as well as four golden coins circling around it. After completing the level, you gain points depending on how fast you are. Don't rely on bonuses too much. Take your time going through each level and make sure to get as many coins as possible. So, we're coin collecting. So, we're playing fucking Super Mario. In a weird, fucked up way. I just... I don't know what the sound effect is for that, guys, because it's muted, but I want it to be a giant fart sound every time those records come out. <laughs> I can edit those then. You're going to have to get on the bookshelf and then dash through there, I think. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't make that jump. Yes, you can. You hesitated. <laughs> Carl Lewis couldn't make that jump. I met a guy once named Carl Lewis on the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> is this a real tale? This or is a... a real story. Okay. And um, I was, you know what I was going to say? I was tripping balls. And, you know, I sat there and I talked to this man for like two hours. Two other people I was with just thought it was hilarious. And then when he left, um, I, I just said that, first I said, oh my God, did I just sell my soul to the devil for no reason. I <laughs> <laughs> and then, I, and then I, I said that any time I run into a stranger, you know, on the Appalachian Show, I'm going to refer to him as Carl Lewis. Yeah. Thank you for that, Tim. Yeah, there you go. Carl Lewis couldn't make that jump. You know what? He couldn't. I met him. You know what? On my end, I fucking tap out. That's all I'm playing. Wait, this there's game. no upstairs? What? You've got to be fucking kidding me. There's been an upstairs this whole time. Where those steps come from? Mr. Wilson's up here. Let's go find the Mr. Wilson's. Ah, oh, fuck it. You fucking game. Where did those steps come from? <laughs> oh, my God. The best that's, that's, where they, that's where they fuck that that's bed. Where they fuck in that bed. Yeah, damn right. There's more beds that they fucking... There's more beds that we fucking... Dennis. We fucking six different beds. <laughs> I mean, their house is not very well architectured, let's face it. Was Mr. Wilson a gardener before he was retired? Did we ever learn that about him? Is that what his job was? I or thought he, he just, just like, worked in an office. He just, just finds passion in gardening. You know, like, dude, he's a product of the Depression. 
Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's true, dude. Look at this age range, man. You know, there's so much possible American Beauty style fanfic <laughs> we could write based off of Mr. Wilson. <laughs> And, and Dennis, like a whole story on Dennis's parents and why they're so neglectful, and it dives into like drug abuse and secrets, skeletons, murder. Oh mysteries. man, you know, like just dude. make it like an episode of Dateline. His parents. <laughs> I'm Dan Rather. This is Dateline. Dan Rather. Yeah, you know, why not? I'm Keith Morrison. <laughs> Welcome back to Dateline. Mm. I'm Chris Hansen. Just have a seat. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, shit! <laughs> he didn't like your Chris Hansen impression. He just shoved his fist up my ass. Well, that's the final straw. Hansen impressions are bullshit. You sounded nothing like him. Get the, it's like Showtime at the Apollo at Mr. Wilson. So the, the stairs were at the left if you want to take those okay. instead. I'm going for that fucker Wilson. <laughs> How do you defeat him? He didn't even touch me. He was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you outside and beat you, boy. You know, you know it would really hurt him if I just lit all the plants on fire and left. Wouldn't even, <laughs> wouldn't even have to fight him. We just can't do that. Give him game. a heart attack. Is that what you want to do? Well, he wants to pick me up and touch a little kid in his bedroom. With his Look, bathrobe on. Can I don't think this is a happy the, marriage. Can you back to the beds? Can you back to the beds? There's mice in the fucking beds. <laughs> Okay, Dude, honestly, and... Honestly, if, if you ask me, Mrs. Wilson has been dead for years because there's mice running around everywhere. This place is chaos. Look at little perv Dennis. He's snooping through her drawers, her painted drawers. Let's check. It actually looks like he's trying okay. to suck his own dick. But... So, <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to point out. Obviously, they're on, they've are on. been married for a long time. The beds are separated. Well, on the TV show back then, even Dennis's parents had separated but, hair. Okay, Mr. Wilson's bed, right? Mm. Look at this chick, just queen in it. She needs room for a pillow. Or on the if not if I'm wrong. Not that she's on the other foot. <laughs> Bitch, what a dick. Get in the housekeeper's bed. I need all my room. Get in the housekeeper's bed. Why would the housekeeper sleep directly beside you? You're on my housekeeper, bitch. <laughs> Get in Juanita's bed. Make sure you cut up bananas and put them in my cereal in the morning. Oh, look, there's another bed though, okay? Look. That's the housekeeper's bed. That's where the magic happens. Oh god, there's so many beds. There's another bed. This is an AVN set. We still To be honest with you, I believe at this point that Mr. Wilson is a sex trafficker. It's gotta be. All the, <laughs> all the kids in that neighborhood who go missing? That's the wrong movie. I'm thinking of it. <laughs> what if it happened in Dennis's well, okay, neighborhood? Once you catch up to him, look at how terrifying he is. I feel like if it and Dennis the Menace, like I'm, I'm gonna pause it right here. If, if the <laughs> It universe and the Dennis universe cross, and that happened to like Dennis, right? This is what's Let's happening. pretend Dennis had a Georgie and all that stuff. Then the second half of it wouldn't have sucked so much dick because you would have. It's Dennis the Menace as a grown up now. I'm already interested. Not fucking Harry Anderson. Goddamn John. I love John Ritter. Man, the second half. Both both the both movies. movies. You're talking about movies. The book is great. I don't care who you are. Oh my god! Get ready. I'm going to get you down on that note, I think yeah, I'm done. I think we're good. At least we got some math on. That's Dennis the Menace, guys. Thank you, for your game of the week. We're going to talk about it more on the episode tonight. It's thumbs down for me. Oh, it's, it's a demo thing. I have no idea. What the, those stairs out of nowhere, though, did that not open up such a great opportunity for us to. Yeah. Yeah. It's being on this level. Oh, look at Dennis with his little idle animation. It's, what? All right. Yeah, you got bubble gum, don't you? Well, from Dennis, to your little bastard, to Dennis from us, go fuck yourself. Guys, thank you for checking us out here. The reset button plays. Check out brand new episode of the reset button coming at you.